This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. We had seen what is a file, what is a data file, what is a file group, all these things in yesterday's class. Make sure that you download all the videos without fail. These videos will get deleted once in two days or once in three days without any notice. Yeah, if you don't download, you will be the loser. So I cannot give you these videos once it is downloaded. So you will be the loser. I, you know, make sure that you download these videos and keep them in your local computer on daily basis. We will have classes only from Monday to Friday. So no class on Saturday and Sunday. Be clear on this. And we don't have any weekend batches and we don't have any evening classes. Okay. So evening IFC timings. We don't have any classes. We have on, only classes scheduled in the you know IST mornings. Now the next topic would be SQL server data types. We could see a lot of varieties of data, right? So we have date and time data, for example, date of birth, date of sales, date of transaction, date of payment. It is a completely date and time data. We have integer data. We have numbers, quantity, right? All these are integers. Employee number, room number, road number, all these are numbers. You know, then we have currency data, right? Currency means you have Indian currency, you have Dubai currency, USA currency, you have currency data. And you have a lot of, you know, bit data, true or false. And we have string data or called as a character data. That means your name is consisting of characters, right? And my name is having also characters. We have characters data that is called string data. Then we have integer data, date and time data, currency data. All these are called different types of the data in the uh, in the real world. So how can we store this data as part of our SQL Server? What are the data types that we have? When you learn C or C++, Java, .NET, every programming language has this topic, data types. Clear? Not only SQL Server, Oracle. So all the programming languages as well, Android, C, C++, Java, Python, .NET, whatever you learn tomorrow, it has data types. Clear? So let us understand this. If you see all the characters in this world, if you take all the characters in this world, there are two types of characters. Okay, let me take a paint and draw it. So I'm talking about all the data. Okay, let me take all characters. There are two types of characters in this world. Okay, one is called Unicode data. One is called Unicode data. Unicode characters. The second one is called non Unicode characters. Okay. So these are the two types of characters are available in the in this world. One is called what Unicode data. The second one is called non Unicode data. Non Unicode data means it is purely the data coming in English. Okay. Each character will take one byte of space. So that is what you need to understand. So non Unicode means it is a purely English language data. For example, I wanted to store my name. I write my data in English, right? And this is my name. I'm going to be writing my data in English. So this is what is called. This is what is called non Unicode data. You're storing the data in English. But many countries do not understand English. For example, you go to China. Do you think that they understand and they store data in English? No. If you go to Russia, they don't even speak in English. If you go to Paris or France, so they don't understand English. But how they're using computers, how they are, you know, uh, 
you know understanding the software and everything because they don't deal with english they have their own language they'll be able to use them so unicode means all languages including english clear so in this also we have english plus you have other languages as well for example if you go to china no bank is going to be storing the you know the customer name in english so the customer name in chinese only chinese language if you go to paris and they use their own language if you go to some other country they don't use english at all in india yes we use most of the time english and uh, so other countries they may have their own languages clear so in this case we have one character is going to be occupying two bytes of space clear for example if i have bhaskar in this case so i'm going to be taking one two three four five six seven okay it's going to be occupying seven bytes of space clear but if i store same bhaskar here it is going to be taking one two three four five six seven seven into two 14 bytes it's going to be occupying even though i store in english because unicode supports english as well clear plus other languages plus other languages so it is going to be supporting okay so that is what is the difference between unique code and non unique code you need to understand the difference in many interviews this question is asked in many interviews this question is asked okay so we need to understand and try to implement it unique code is more recommended nowadays why because all people all the you know customers are you know completely uh, any country any language can you know use this unique coded data clear so if i go to google today let me go to google and i want you to understand this if you see carefully do you know what is this this is indian language okay this is some other language all these are indian languages so this is my own language this is you know different people having so how come google is google offered in these languages so what is the meaning of this google is supporting unicode data clear if you if the google does not support unicode data then you cannot search you cannot search in these languages am i clear it is very very important that so all the languages today today python today's java today's oracle today's excel today's xml everything is supporting unique code data if somebody is saying i don't support unique code means they are out of the it industry remember this if android says no 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 i don't support this if ios says no 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 i will not support this language that means what they are out of the market so no country is going to be using that only maybe us people and uk people may know english only those two countries will use but other countries people they don't understand english at all for them it is very very difficult if you want it to be in the market you have to support completely international languages am i clear so all modern languages including python java android excel you know sap whatever be the software that you're using today all these softwares are using unicode data but only the minus point here is that one character will take two bytes of space so that is the minus point in this but even though that is a minus point people are not worried about space today right one terabyte of hard disk may you know take 50 dollars or maximum 100 dollars right so people are not worried about the spaces even though it takes three bytes four bytes one letter i am not going to be worried clear because the space of the hard disk is very very inexpensive or you can say cheaper am i clear so people are going to be using unique code data most of the time but few few applications or few places 
you may use non unique code data so this is what is called localization unique code is what is called globalization globalization means what you are supporting all language people all countries people can use your java dot net anything clear so even sql server sql server supports google supports right google is supporting uh, unique code data am i clear so in non unique code sector sql server has few data types okay what are the data types this guy has one is called character data okay the second one is called where care data so character maximum data you can store 8000 and where care also maximum you can store 8000 and the next one is called where care it is not where chair where care where care max clear so these are the three data types microsoft is giving to us and these are for completely non unicode data we can store purely english data but i wanted to have unicode data types as well so in this case it is having a few more data types to store all languages data first one is called ncar which is going to be occupying 4000 characters the second one is called nvar care n stands for national care national var care and 4000 maximum characters you can use it and if you want it to store <clears throat> more than 4000 then you can go in for max n where care max these are the three data types given by microsoft okay if you wanted to store purely english data you can go in for care if you wanted to store english hindi marathi spanish chinese any language data i wanted to store if that is the case go in for n care clear so when should i use care or n care so the question is if you have a fixed length data fixed length data when you have it go in for character or n care data fixed length data fixed data length means the length will not change clear so for example uh, my phone number or my postal code so when you say postal code the my you know, indian postal codes are having only the six numbers okay six numbers so your postal code my postal code or you will have male and female the length is fixed male and female length is only one character okay so the length is fixed here okay the postal code or the phone number phone number my phone number is this okay so in india the phone numbers are only 10 digits clear so we have this phone numbers your phone number my phone number is not going to be having more than 10 characters clear if the length is not changing then you can use either character or n var care n character okay so that is what if the length is fixed if the length is fixed we can go in for character data clear so many people are you know understand characters means what characters means what you need to understand this point as well character means all letters okay all letters plus special character special characters means what so do you know what is a special character special character means all this space and all these things are called special characters clear so all of them are special characters so this and even numbers are supported 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 all these are called called as a character data only remember this clear all letters of english you know chinese whatever you have it clear so all letters including all all languages will be taken 
as a character only special characters like this and the space all these are also you know treated as a characters only even the numbers also even the numbers also treated as characters only clear for example i wanted to create my password so what i what i what is my password i'll say test at the rate one two three so this is a string data or you can say character data so test is a test and at the rate symbol and one two three this is a purely character data it is not integer data okay according to it industry numbering means something else integer means something else i will discuss later so characters means all these things are supported remember this point clear so what are the things so it is going to support it is going to be supporting all letters of all languages and special characters and numbers as well included in the characters only clear so when i say care care is going to be occupying fixed length data the length of the data should not fix for example in india my phone number my postal code my phone number is 10 digits and every in else's phone number will be having 10 digits but where care means variable length data so my name is bhaskar jogi i'm having only seven characters so variable length data the length of the data will change okay variable length data will be there so remember so your name my name your address my address so the length of the data is not similar right for example my name is bhaskar right you your uh, name is john kennedy so you have more length right and or your name will be mac so like that you may have three characters here you may have more characters here you may have less characters here different people will have different names right the length of the data is not similar right so if the length of the data is not similar so this is so this is what is called employee name or you can say customer name customer name is what is called where care data clear where care data maximum 8000 letters you can store by 8000 yesterday's class we discussed each page is 8 kb so that is fixed so maximum you can accommodate your data in that page itself clear if you wanted to store more and more then you have a lot of difficulties right if you have some item that is crossing more than one bedroom so it will be difficult for you or you wanted to ship that item to elsewhere you have a lorry lorry will have a size right if you have you know the more than the lorry size your item is what happens you need to cut the you know the item into two parts clear so have half of the item in the lorry number one and half of the item into lorry number two and you need to ship it clear so you can store the data not more than eight kilobytes but however if you have sometimes the data may come with more than eight eight thousand kb so that is where where care max up to up to max means it is not unlimited data so there is a limitation up to 2 gb of data up to 2 gb of data you can store it is variable length data only maximum does not mean that you can store 10 terabytes of data no up to 2 gb of data max you can store but in this purely english data you may have english letters special characters and numbers that can be stored in this clear so purely english characters only not other languages that is what is called care where care where care max hope you understood what is a character character can occupy maximum 8000 letters if you take it not more than that so fixed length data for example here i told you postal code numbers right and your phone numbers okay all of them can be stored there and variable length data i have given you employee name and employee name and other things and where care means variable length data if you're crossing more than eight thousand 
by you know characters then less than up to 2 gb you can go in for where care max clear so these are the data types microsoft is giving to store the non unicode data clear so in this case we have n care 4000 and where care 4000 same rules apply n care means fixed length data and up to 4000 characters we can store why 4000 because each character is going to be taking two bytes two into 4000 characters eight bytes so that is the maximum page size clear so it is half of this so here also 4000 max up to 1 gb of data okay up to how much of data i can store 1 gb why 1 gb because 1 gb into 2 bytes it will become 2 gb clear why 4000 because each character is going to be occupying 2 bytes unicode supports english plus all other languages data be clear n care stands for what national care you can have english data plus hindi data or chinese data any data you should be able to store clear and where care that is also same thing same rules applicable variable length data and and where care max means up to 1 gb of data characters is going to support all these things all letters special characters everything it is going to support guys am i clear any questions so these are the data types we have one is called unicode data the second one is called non unicode data are you clear so this is what i explained so character will take up to 2000 8000 where care this one where care max this one unicode n care n care n where care n where care max let me go to sql server how to open sql server you type go to start ssms that's what i told you microsoft sql server management studio okay so you just open sql and uh... i think i have let it uh, open one minute guys let me show you something here let me show you something here and uh, you have uh, a database this database is given by microsoft adventure works adventure works dw this is not my database this database is created by microsoft itself they're trying to give this database they're trying to give this database to us so for the learning purpose this is a adventure works database so they're having a lot of tables in it database will have a lot of tables right so a lot of tables are available here and this is one database for learning purpose and one more database adventure works dw data warehousing database one more database microsoft is giving us so you can download these databases from google itself if you don't have it i will be giving it to you okay so don't worry about it i go to this database and expand it you could see lot of tables how to create tables how to insert the data all of them we are going to start after one week okay so no worries about it so as of now you have a lot of tables in it now there is a table called fact additional international products description table this is a table okay so this table is having some information i want to show the information 
So I am writing some command. You don't worry about what I'm writing. So this is the command to read the data. Okay. So from where I want to, I wanted to read the data, I say use this database. This is the command. Okay. So the, all these are SQL commands I'm writing. So all these commands are going to be learning very soon. Okay. So I'm going to be executing one command. I'm going to be executing this command. And see now, this is the data which is giving giving it to us. See now, this data is uh, Bosnian and Bosnian, you know, Latin language. Now you see, read this data. Let me copy and paste it. Anybody can read this. What is this language? Now can you read? This is not English. Do you think that it is English? Do you think that it is English? What is this data? Is it English or Chinese? Now SQL Server, SQL Server is storing the data as it is without conversion. This is what is called the beauty of Unicode data. You don't convert into binary as it is you store it. Now you read this data. So is it English data? It is not English data, right? So you can store this data, it's not English. Now it is Farsi data. So I, I don't know which country is going to be reading this data probably arab countries or middle east countries maybe you know having farsi right and it, it looks like urdu now you have a, this is our language indian language hindi let me store this data this database is not by you know uh, i i did not create this database created by microsoft clear they wanted to show you how a other data including english if you see this is english i think somewhere you have english data as well so you can have english you can have chinese and see you now it is one more language from india it is one more language from india right and i'll show you my script i'll show you my, my script even microsoft is you know giving all this this is my own uh, language this is what we speak in our you know in our state so this is what we design. Have you read this? You can read anything. Most of the people can read it. So this is not, I did not store this at all. Clear? So you need to understand SQL Server is supporting not only English data. So this is English, right? This is English. So whatever you are storing, it is English. And you have, this is one more, you know, Indian language. Okay, India has a lot of languages and every language has a good script clear so most of the indian languages are captured in this you can see this is urdu it looks like farsi only okay so you can store uh, i was in dubai for some time okay i was uh, you know pro doing a project for uh, dubai mall so they had lot of data but not in english completely into urdu and arabic so you can see arabic data as well clear most of the time they speak they don't understand right if you go to dubai and the middle east they don't understand english and other these things they speak in arabic arabic has a good script so most of the applications java.net they take arabic data and they process that data clear so this is gujarati data one more indian language and this is you know uh, a, I don't know what is this language. Now you see, read this. This is some, it looks like English language only. This is, you know, in it, I don't know, Irish and a lot of languages are available. You know, this is Pashto. So this is, looks like Urdu only. So all these languages are going to be supported by Microsoft. Clear? We can store any language data as it is today without a conversion that's what is the beauty about this if you wanted to see the data types for it you can just maximize uh, uh, maximize this then you can see product description this is what is the description this is n -Ware care max have you seen this it is not a care it is n -Ware care max and culture name this is the culture name column so this is also n -Ware care 50. clear so it is very very important guys and uh, this is how you can understand 
So database today, not only SQL Server, Oracle, I wanted to take this data. Let me show you. Let me copy this data and open Excel. You think that Excel may take only English data always, okay? You can also store your own languages here. So this is one language data. Let me go and take this data. Copy this and put it here. Okay. Now you go and take. Let me take uh, one of the Indian languages data. I wanted to show you how each application is supporting it today. Now you take Chinese data as well, very Chinese data. Let me take Chinese data. So copy Chinese Hong Kong. Let me go and copy Chinese data as well. Clear? So I have stored different data here. Now I wanted to save this file. Can I save this or not? Let me save it. So I say, this is a book one. I have saved it. Let me close and let me open the again book one. Where is the book one? It is stored somewhere. Let me open it. So now we can see same data as it is. So Excel is also supporting Unicode characters. Unicode means all data, including English. You can store your name in English and that is also get saved. Clear? So by default, Excel is going to support what? Unicode data, not non-Unicode data. Clear? So Unicode data means it is supporting all languages including English and plus other languages. This is what is called Unicode data I'm talking about. Clear? So not only English, English plus other languages as well. So all these are called Unicode data that you can have at any time. But if you take Notepad, okay. Notepad is called as a flat file or a text file. Let me store some data here and let me have some data in English. Okay, and let me take uh, this data as well. Control C, and let me say Control V, and let me save this file. So save some test document. Save this now. Let me open this file. Okay, you need to check all of them clearly. So test, you can just open this. Now, Notepad is also supporting this, but if you go to olden days Notepads, it was not supporting all of them, okay? While saving, while saving, so it is taking as UTF encoding, okay? If you have normal other encoding, it is not you know able to save it. In lot of other computers, if you open Linux and open the Notepad, so their notepads are supporting purely English data, not this kind of a data. Nowadays, even notepad is supporting this data. If they don't support, they are out of the market. That's what I'm saying, okay? If any application do, does not support, this means they're out of the market, they need to support. So you can save any kind of a data anywhere nowadays. Oracle, SQL Server, Java, .NET, everywhere you should be able to have your own language if you have a script means clear so this is what you should be able to understand about character data unicode you know non uh, unicode and non unicode any questions guys now what is the other difference between care and where care one difference i'll told you fixed length data variable length data what is the other data okay so we have a question, let me answer that. So the question is, so when we define a table, is it wise to correct? Correct, yeah, yes. Not a defined. So what type of the data you are having it? Do you store purely English data? Then define non-unicode because it's going to be having only English data and one byte, right? You don't waste space there. 
but if you wanted to store international languages then definitely you must use unique code data probably in india we, we are not storing any data in our own language probably maybe maybe all banks will take all your you know names and signatures everything in english so why why to waste you know your time and my time so you you know have the pure uh, non unique code data but if the customer says that if the bank says that we may have the data in other you know the local languages as well then you need to define the column as what unique code yeah my clear srikant so it is definitely you need to analyze the data before creating a database before creating a table before understanding the requirements this is what is called a designing phase right you understand the requirements then do you design what kind of a table i need what columns i need what is the data type i need designing phase but if you if you if you don't do proper designing then definitely the application will fail right for example you have uh, a function at your home so you wanted to hire a restaurant chef and you give your requirements hey chef i need this food i need chicken i need you know pizza i need that i need this i need this you give your requirements after gathering the requirement chef is going to be explaining this is how it is going to come this is how it is going to come this is, is going to be designing and telling you this is what you need this is we don't have it this is how the pieces would be this is how the you know shape would be this is how the look and color of the food would be this is what we are going to be adding it there so what why is it telling you all of them because this is what is called designing and analysis phase clear so you give the requirement saying that i have a function or the i have a buffet tomorrow i am inviting thousands of people so i need to have a food tomorrow or day after tomorrow or after one month so when you give your requirements to the chef chef is going to be giving you so a lot of you know or you know his suggestions and you say that i need this i don't need this and he will also say that i need this we cannot do this we can have this so lot of things analysis and designing is going to come once you agree on the analysis and designing sign off will be done then the cooking is going to start clear so in the software also you give the requirement not you means not you companies will come a banking will come they need they say that we need an application clear so the bank will give the requirements we capture the requirements then we analyze with the bank this can be done this cannot be done then after that you create a tables you do lot of things so requirement design and analysis then cooking or we'll say coding here clear the coding will start there that's how we need to understand it is not 400 bytes uh, stand it is 4000 bytes okay 4000 bytes 4k means 4000 4000 into each character is it is each character is 2 bytes clear so 4000 into 2 bytes will be it is at 4000 characters number of characters this it is number of characters 8000 8000 characters into one character will take one byte it is 8 bytes 8 kb clear it is going to be taking each character will be 2 bytes and 4000 characters i can store maximum clear yeah that is the case maximum yeah yeah so now uh, so when should i use care i clearly explained use care for the fixed length data and small sizes data if you have it use where care to allow values of differing sizes avoid where care for frequently altered columns for example address of an employee let me explain last point it is very very important point let me save this so many times you get these questions right many times okay i'm going to cover maximum interview questions you need not google it anything further clear so 80 to 90 percent of the interview questions are covered in my classes itself you follow my notes you follow my classes you can clear 
80 to 90 percent whether you are putting three years of experience or 10 years of experience doesn't matter clear i am going to be covering from very basic to very advanced level clear you buy any udemy uh, videos or you google any videos you will not be able to see in detail sessions you can i can definitely challenge clear you don't get any classes elsewhere they'll teach you how to create a table how to drop a table so that anybody can teach okay so how to do it is not important why we are doing is very very important clear you ask them a hey, udemy guy why you know unicode why non unicode he will not be able to tell you the answer clear so that's where you can tell so i am talking about a table let me create a table table has a few columns okay this is my table the table name is called employee table employee id employee name employee salary this is my table i wanted to have to store lot of data in it so i am stating employee number one ten let us say john salary is a thousand okay tell is how much thousand then we have next employee let us say anu salary is two thousand then we have next employee let us say salman salary is three thousand like that we have lot of data right so this data is called as integer data so this is what is called where care data where care let us say 110 so maximum you can have 8000 characters but i am restricting myself with the 10 characters clear i don't want to you know cross more than 10 characters in this that is what i'm saying and salary is some other data type so if you store this data what happens all this data will get stored in a page do you remember i told you yesterday all the data when you store it in the table all this data is going to go to your page i told you a lot of example yesterday you take pizza the pizza as it is will not be there pizza will get converted into glucose carbohydrates then i told you vitamins and end of the day all this day all this pizza will get going to the blood that is how the conversion happens internally that you should aware so when you store the data the data will not get saved as it is clear the data will not get saved as it is in the table it will go to the data file and the data file will have a page clear guys and the data comes here now what is the page says it is eight kilobytes now how it is going to be happening now it will store like this 10 and sorry it is not uh, ah, it is let me take uh, first let me explain character data then we'll go for the where care data okay if i have character written what happens here so the 10 is going to be stored in the page the next you will have john john occupied only four letters fifth sixth seventh eighth nine ten then after that you have a thousand will get stored clear so whether you use all the data or not it is going to be giving you 10 characters but you are taking only four characters the next data will come here 20 now anu anu is going to be occupying three four five six seven eight nine ten then 2000 is going to be getting saved then 30 salman okay you have six seven eight nine ten then 3000 is going to be stored clear so when you have character data how sql server is going to be storing it is leaving 10 bytes 10 bytes for each and every you know the data and storing the data so when they give you fixed length of space if you occupy the complete length that is fine 
but you are not occupying the complete length you are wasting the space clear so what is the big issue here wastage of space so that is the big issue in the character data to overcome this to overcome this what what normally we do we'll say will make it to where care data so when you make it to where care data what happens the page as it is you have the page right so end of the day the data will go to the page only but now i am talking about where care data clear so whenever you store the data what is happening here whether you are having having you are supposed to have 10 characters data so 10 length is you know the space is 10 but you occupied only four letters so here you have 10 characters but you occupied only three characters the space is a 10 character space will be given but you you occupied only you know six characters so wastage of space i'm talking about clear so if you say character data fixed space will be given whether you eat or don't eat it will be given for example you order a pizza say medium size pizza so there are some four pieces will be there if you eat two pieces what will happen two pieces are waste because you don't have anybody you are going to be wasting the food there because fixed size food will be delivered to you if you order medium level pizza right so there the size is very very fixed but how much you have consumed only two pieces not the complete pizza so what will happen waste is a food is the big problem there clear so that's what i'm telling now to overcome that we can use where care character is going to be behaving like this this is i'm talking about character and here i'm going to be talking about where care when you go in for where care what happens it will be like this if you store this kind of a data 10 john then 1000 then 20 then anu okay then 2000 then 30 then you have salman 3000 okay so like that it is not going to leave any space at all when you go in for where care data it is not going to be leaving any space but here you will have a space john is four characters remaining six characters will go waste clear so in the character data you will waste lot of space in the hard disk clear and you will waste lot of space in the hard disk especially where care data you don't waste you say 10 john after that no no space left clear so that is what is where care data now you think where care is always good than the character data but if it is the character if where care is good why can't we use where care only everywhere why character is needed even today right if where care is good everywhere but why microsoft is giving character as well as where care whether it is a fixed length data or variable length data can't we use only where care everywhere why microsoft is giving this one and this one too clear see it is where care or character 10 means what billion the maximum you can store what maximum you can store 10 characters you cannot cross more than that that means you can have one letter or up to 10 letters so in this case i have stored only three letters but maximum you can take 10 characters that is the meaning of character 10 so clear so where care 10 means what same thing maximum you can store up to 10 characters and in a minimum is one character but here when you're storing four letters and remaining six six spaces are not left in this but in case of this it is left that's what i'm telling you if you order a pizza the 10 pieces will be given if you eat 10 pieces it will be good no wastage of food but if somebody says that no i i, I need only three pieces I need only four pieces, but everybody is getting 10 spaces. Clear? So what will happen? The space wastage will start. The food wastage will start. This is a buffet. Buffet means you need the food how much ever you need it. You go to the buffet and you take 
so i need only one piece of pizza i need one piece of you know a small quantity of sweet uh, dessert so you take how, how much ever you need it you don't waste the food there in in, uh, in case of worker or in case of buffet okay worker is simply a buffet a lunch or dinner so where you don't waste your food but you know uh, character is simply a similar to a parcel uh, meal or take away meal in the take away meal they'll give you fixed length of food so if you consume it completely then there is no wastage if you don't consume it if you only consume it you know one third of that then remaining 70% will go waste so that is what is going on here clear so care and wear care so people may ask you if wear care only good why care even today let us give me let, let me give you one more example so tomorrow she comes anu comes and says it is not anu my name is anu radha she was modifying her name clear when you modify you can easily go since there is a space you can update it i wanted to have anuradha here do i have a space here to accommodate this new spelling i don't have a space so that is where the issue starts okay so tomorrow if somebody updates their data for example employee address you may be changing from one address to another so initially you will have where care 300 next time your address is where care 500 now what happens you have to accommodate two more 100 uh, letters extra so now i don't have any space here so in case of where cares you will get a lot of issues what microsoft sql server is going to do if you wanted to you know give anuradha here it is going to be bringing all the data down okay it will adjust a lot of things now it will be a big problem for us it will take this data and it it is going to be bringing it down it will just to why it is not coming down yeah so it has to bring like this and it has to accommodate space like this okay so sql server is going to be accommodating a space and uh, giving the things it will not give you error but it's trying to accommodate the address and the space that is where the issue starts clear so when you update something here since you don't have a space sql server has to push the remaining data down and it has to create a space for the new data which is coming in it is a big circus sql server is going to be doing in case of updates clear if you have more and more updates of any column then definitely your updates will become very very slow why every time it has to look for the space here space is already there <clears throat> in this case we don't have any space at all if there is no space it has to adjust the space first then include the data there so because of this where care is not so good for the updated columns clear so this is the point i was talking about especially for the address if there is an address column don't say where care 500 you say character 500 only because address may change from every now and then clear so even though which is a variable length data you don't consider address as a variable length data because address will change if you change the address the length may increase or decrease decrease means no issue but if it is increasing means 300 to 400 you know 200 to 300 300 to 350 you need to accommodate the more 50 letters in the database so that is a big circus for the sql server so avoid where care for frequently altered altered means updated columns so what are the columns heavily updated your names will not get updated your age will not get updated regularly but your address will get updated regularly wherever the updations are more the data updations are more consider giving those columns as where care data only ah, sorry it is not where care data it is a character data only clear 
don't give where care there give as character even though let uh, even though there is a wastage of space am i clear so that is what is the you know beautiful learning point you should be able to understand now if you wanted to store numerical data then we have whole numbers then we have decimals and we have approximates clear whole numbers means we have a tiny int small int int big int so these are going to store data without decimals clear if you wanted to store data with decimals then we have decimals and numeric and we have approximates means real and float this is what is called numerical data so numerical data is a three varieties whole numbers tiny int one byte small int is two bytes integer is four bytes big int is eight bytes clear you need not specify automatically when you say tiny int one byte will be taken uh, small int means two bytes will be taken if i say half a dozen six will be given if i say dozen 12 items will be given so you should not say dozen in the bracket 12 people will laugh at you if you say tiny int it is automatically one byte small int means two bytes int means four bytes big int means eight bytes so that is how in tiny int means it is going to be taking a 0 to 255 positive numbers clear so there is no negative data you can have it if you wanted to have small int you can have a minus 32768 to pause to this number so this is the range of data you can insert in that column if you go in for integer so this is the size you can have it clear if you go in for a big end the range will even more bigger and we have decimal data decimals means uh decimal data whether negative numbers or you know positive numbers you can have 38 dig digits before the decimal or after the decimal put together you can have a maximum 38 digits so floating point floating in real means approximates 0 0.33333 we'll say recurring numbers or we'll say approximates clear so float is four bytes and a real is eight bytes so it can occupy you know less you know digits after the decimal it is going to be occupying more digits for example if i store a approximate values approximate means recurring numbers okay if i say 3333 three, 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 up to this a float can store okay and 0 0.3333 it can store much more uh, so it can store up to this it can store some more uh, we know this so this is more accurate than this okay so here it is only four bytes so it can have eight bytes it can store some more digits okay so people would ask you what is the difference between a real and a float both of them are going to be storing recurring numbers clear but it is going to be having more space it is less space it is more accurate it is less accurate that's it if you wanted to store recurring numbers called approximate numerics clear so we have a float and a real so that is where we're going to be using this and a decimals i told you 38 decimals before and after you can have decimal and numeric these are two data types are available there is no you know difference both of them are synonyms decimal or numeric both of them are two data types but they can store only decimals data without the decimals data this we can have it now to store the currency we have small money and we have money we should not use decimals and everything clear so because uh, money should have more you know accuracy so definitely small money is four bytes you can accommodate up to millions of dollars money means you can put millions of you know trillions and billions of uh, incomes and everything clear so small money and money so employee salary would be a small money right so bill gates in income is a big money or you can say money so it depends upon your income or it depends upon the situation you need to use small money or money clear to store the date and time values so date of birth date of death date of transfer date of sales date of transaction date of delivery all these things are 
included in your database. So that is where we can use small date time. You can have date bit between this to this. If we have date time, so you can have data between this to this. If we have date time to starting to end, so this is the end of the year. So you have only date. So starting from this, ending from this, no time is taken, only the pure date. So all these things will include date plus time as well. Clear? This includes only the date, not the time. And you have a time, it will not include a date, only the time will get captured. And a date time offset. You can have a Greenwich time plus 530 hours, Greenwich time plus 330 hours. If you wanted to store like that, we can go in for a date time offset. Clear? So sometimes we'll see, uh, you will get the amount. Somebody sent me amount yesterday, and I'm getting a message from you know zoom.com, paypal.com. You will receive the you know money to your bank account, green which time plus 530 hours. That's what it, it told me. Okay, so green which time I should know what is the time plus 530 hours it will take to get the data, you know, the amount into your bank. So they may give you not exactly the same time. They don't say Indian timing 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. They say green which time plus 530 hours. So during that time, a date 16th or date 17th. So this is the date and time. And you may get this funds in your bank account. So that's what PayPal is saying. A PayPal, you know, the Zoom is saying for me. Clear. So the data is written in a date time offset. Clear. So these are the things that we have to store the date and time. And from tom uh, tomorrow, we'll discuss the binary data. Are you clear? So you may ask me, even though, <clears throat> even though we are having uh, letters and you know special characters and numbers in the character data, why especially again numerical data is needed? Because according to the IT industry, you can have a number in the character as well. So what do you mean by that? So for example, I wanted to have a number, for example, employee number, phone number, even though these are numbers, IT industry is not treating them as a numbers. Why? You don't perform any arithmetical operations on your phone number. So then treat that as a character data only. Remember, okay, IT industry, some rules you need to understand. Even though my password is a test one, two, three, so it is a completely character data. My employee number is one, two, three. It is a, it could be an integer, but uh, IT industry will not take that as an integer because you don't, you don't do any plus minus, you know, arithmetical operations on the, you know, that data, even though that is numerical data. So the data will be treated as a character data only. Phone number, and uh, you know room number and a street number road number all these are numbers but these numbers will not be you know used to perform arithmetical operations this this letter these numbers are called as character data only clear but what is the number where you perform arithmetical operation for example quantity sold sales amount tax paid right and uh, credited debited amount all these are the numbers where the arithmetical operations are done. So IT industry treating this as a number, remaining numbers, room number, phone number, employee number, street number, road number, hotel number, all these are letters only. All these are characters only. Clear? Those are not numbers according to the IT industry. Be clear on this. Any questions, guys? So tomorrow we'll continue guys hope everybody is getting the videos if not mail me bhaskarjogi at gmail.com and check your spam keep you know checking your spams as well you will see you will find from go online trainings.com lot of you know mails will be sent right some url some new meeting ids will be sent make sure you're not you know having emails into spams okay yeah you say that it is not a spam mail when you say then it is not going to be putting into spam but keep on checking it
clear thank you guys bye bye any questions